New tonight from 3 News Investigates, violence against transgender people is on the rise across the country. In the city of Cleveland, at least nine transgender women have been killed since 2013. All but one were women of color. 3 News Investigator Rachel Polanski has more. Whether she was sketching. Always loved to draw. Or painting. Brandy Bledsoe was always creating. Brandy was a self-taught artist. Today, that artwork is all Andrea Craggett has left after her niece Brandy was murdered in 2016. They told me that they had found her body on the east side and that she was dead. Um, she had been shot, um, a single shot to the chest. Brandy transitioned one year earlier. Brandy, my beautiful baby, um, was born as Brandon. She's one of at least nine transgender women who was killed in Cleveland over the last eight years. A lot of people don't associate Cleveland as a place of violence. Unfortunately, it is. And 2021 is on track to be the deadliest on record for transgender Americans, with at least 29 deaths across the country. We say at least because it's impossible to know an exact count, as federal statistics are limited. Advocates also say that there is significant underreporting. It's actually very difficult to know how many of our trans neighbors we've lost because there's no real good way of finding that information. You, you, you have to literally be a detective looking at death records. Three News Investigates did look at the death records, and that's when we found another issue. Police, media, even the medical examiner often misgender victims, describing the person using a name or gender with which they did not identify. A spokesperson for the Cuyahoga County Medical Examiner told us, quote, we obtain identification from a decedent's legal name at the time of death. Additionally, we report on their sex, not gender. That says to me that my community is not as valuable as other, other people in other communities. While there are federal statutes in place, Ohio is among 28 states whose civil rights laws do not specifically protect individuals from discrimination based on their sexual orientation or gender identity. It's something transgender activist Jacob Nash says needs to change. We need those protections because we need these hate crimes to be labeled as hate crimes. So what's next? Well, just a few weeks ago, a pair of Ohio lawmakers introduced legislation that would redefine Ohio's definition of a hate crime. And we will, of course, follow that legislation as it moves through committee. Rachel Polanski, 3 News.